Okay, and today we are going to take a look in on the Eat My Jeans bin. Now this bin has a couple of pounds of my Red Wiggler Blue Worm European Nightcrawler mix. And they currently have a pair of blue jeans, a pair of khaki shorts, and a queen size bed sheet. So I'm going to start hauling things out and see what we've got. They have made beautiful castings on the top here. So it, it shows you that uh, no matter what you feed them, they will figure it out and make you beautiful castings. Okay, so this bin is super wet. Let's start with the blue jeans and see what we've got here. I'll put a picture down below of uh, what we fed last time, but these jeans are definitely really hard to recognize as a pair of jeans at this point. Um, it's been, I don't know, over 250 days. I'll put the real numbers below. And these jeans are certainly uh, getting completed, but I, I really don't think the pockets were made out of cotton. I think those those are probably synthetic and we'll probably end up be pulling them out. This bin is very, very wet. Looks like they're getting into an avocado pit there. I do feed it things other than just clothing. They get regular food scraps, etc. And uh, in, in addition to the uh, fabric, which I consider to be more of a, a bedding source. Um, oh, what? okay. Wow. Check that out. There is, again, the pockets seem to be made out of not cotton, whatever, whatever it is. These, and there was a worm ball in them that I totally disturbed, but I don't think there's any way around that considering how these things are torn up. Yeah, they're, either these were really close to being super worn out when I put them in here, or this fabric um, was basically the best thing ever. This is the bananas of fabric or the melon of fabric. I'm gonna put that off to the side too and take a look at the newest portion of our Eat My Clothing bin and uh, see what we've got. See what they've done with the sheet. Darn worms are starting to take apart the... Now these sheets were blue when I came in last time or when I put them in they were blue. Let's put it that way. <clears throat> so it's very interesting that the worm bin environment has taken blue sheets and you can see the blue here and turned it white that's very interesting if anybody knows what mechanism it is that's doing that i would love to know that that's interesting to me um so it looks like they're in the sheet in quite quite a few places here and uh, leaving all kinds of castings looks like the stuff that was on the top did get pretty processed. Oop, and they've left us a, well, a worm ball. And a worm ball underneath. So it looks like they are, there must have been, oh yeah, here's a little piece of lime. Little wormies in a lime. Yep, so they have done a fabulous, fabulous job here, but I really don't think I need to add anything that is going to create more moisture in here. That is that's a bit much much wetter than i would intentionally Oop, another worm ball in the sheets hmm all right well we're gonna kind of invert it and put the side that was on the bottom on the top get it some good air look at how pink those baby worms are it's crazy right or maybe they just look super pink because they're against a white background they look pinker than normal put your thoughts below is that pinker pinker whatever all right, uh, because I don't want to add any moisture to this bin, I think I'm just going to give them some worm chow and put some worm chow in and around the sheets and uh, give them that instead because I really don't want to <laughs> add anything that's going to create moisture down here. So I'm just going to kind of coat the sheet a little bit and maybe that will make it more tantalizing for the worms to consume. Then I'm just gonna put the worms and everything back over on the on top of the sheet here and make room for us to put the blue jeans and the shorts back. And there's another really pretty, almost brand new cocoon. 